Hello again, minions. Wheezy here. And in this week's weekly wrap up, we're going to talk about what you missed on the channel this week and also an official teaser announcement about the new Battlefield game from EA. So let's go talk about it. Well, all right, minions, let's get right into what you missed on the channel this week. And before I forget, like I did last week, like two weeks ago at this point, I uploaded a new episode of Assassin's Creed Valhalla to the Storytime channel. Completely spaced it when I was doing the main weekly wrap up. So that's posted. I go to a wedding for this king that I kind of hate, me personally, not my character in the game, and uh, basically try to fuck everyone in this episode and succeed twice. So, here's a clip from that. Skill of mine that I could impress upon Ew, you. Ew, are you Even hitting on me? something to teach, whether they are aware of the lesson or not. You are hitting on hey, me. Hey, hey. But I could show you how to wield my... Stop. Plow sword. Stop. Oh my god. Fuck it, you let's do it. it. <laughs> you want to lay with me, is that... Oh god. Oh my. This is Harry man love. Oh god. Oh, this is the least romantic wedding I've ever seen. <laughs> no, don't. We're good. No, we're done. We're done. Please stop. Please stop. Thank god. Oh wow. Wow. Some sweet wine for a sweet swine. <laughs> Can I fuck Come you too? Me. I'll fuck everybody. Oh. <laughs> Fuck everyone in this way. <laughs> <laughs> Time to mind where you put your fingers. These stones are old and weathered. You know what I mean. I'll mind where I put my fingers. Yeah, let's get that booty. It's my duty to please that Viking booty. So much. We rode, we fought, we drank, we laughed. You showed, showed me, me your sword. Oh, sorry. not in words, but deeds. Deeds are more direct than words. If you know what I mean. That is awkward. Porn. Bird. Bad bird. So go check that one out if you want to see me bang people digitally, I guess. Um, I got a new series coming to Storytime that I'm going to announce next week. Uh, I've already got the first two episodes recorded and the first one edited, um, but I need to get the thumbnails done and I'm going to kind of do like a, a cut up uh, intro video for this channel. So look forward to a new Storytime series coming up soon. Um, so for the main channel this week, the first video I posted on Monday was how to save money on your X-Pass Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscription. I did a video before for saving money on PlayStation Plus. This is less of a discount, but it's still a discount. So here's a quick clip from that short video. But anyway, saving 10%, I mean, it's just, you're leaving money on the table if you don't do this. So it's really simple at CD Keys to just go and add it. And it's a digital code. So I'll show you how it's redeemed as well, just because this is the entire process I recorded. And as I'm going through it, this is exactly how fast uh, it, it is to, to redeem this. So go check that out to learn how to save some money on your Game Pass Ultimate subscription. Everybody loves to save money. I mean, just why not? Why not save money? Game Pass Ultimate is just so worth it. Have I mentioned before how much I love Game Pass Ultimate and how useful and valuable it is? No? Yes. Yes, I have. All right. Uh, next, I posted a Battlefield 4 on PC video uh, where I'm playing more PC games now that I have... PC peripherals as I keep kind of referring to in the weekly wrap-ups um, but this is the first like kind of gameplay I posted since I got my new stuff it's a Battlefield 4 gameplay I called it I have potato aim <laughs> because my aim on keyboard and mouse is rapidly improving but still somewhat hilarious to watch so uh, here is a clip from that gameplay Why? Why? Why must you ruin everything? Why? I can't believe you've done this. Let's see if we can get a steady shot here.
Must have been a little high. That's it. Can I see four in the water? Please. No, don't leave. Please let this work. Swim away. Not dead to me. Yes, please. Yes, sir. Hey, can I can I get up, please? Please. Don't let me die like this. Don't let me die like this. So go check that out if you want to see some awesome PC Battlefield 4 action and watch Wheezy relearn how to how to walk baby steps. <laughs> um, there's going to be more coming up for that. I've got more Battlefield 4 gameplay already captured uh, as well as Battlefield Bad Company 2 and I'm going to be doing more. So look forward to more PC goodness as I continue to improve my skills on the PC to complement my console roots. Um, the next video I posted is actually technically a Modern Warfare video, although it also ties into Warzone. I posted a video on the fastest way to unlock and rank up the Psykov pistols for Modern Warfare and Warzone. It focuses on unlocking and ranking it up in Modern Warfare. Uh, and I know they've already been balanced for Warzone, so it's maybe not as valuable as it would have been when they were super overpowered like a week ago. But if you're like me and you just like unlocking all the weapons for you to use, Here's a video that will help you with that, and here's a short clip from that video. And I just, I just ended up having an absolute blast doing this. I, I mean, I will never basically use these pistols again because I don't, they've already been balanced in Warzone, like I said, and uh, I'm thinking about getting into Warzone more for season, uh, for Cold War Season 3. Um, but again, I don't anticipate using these pistols, but I wanted to bring you guys the fastest way to do it, and, um, and it ended up just being quite quite a lot of fun to do this so what i would suggest after um you've ranked the pistol up to about rank 32 when you unlock mo money you can at that point to get the akimbo perk um you can do what you do with the other challenges where you can get the couple of kills that you need in a match leave the match and do that again and again until you uh get the akimbo perk so actually i think i'm about to cut to that here so so go check that out, and honestly, just go unlock the Psykovs, because playing with a pistol in hardcore is actually kind of a ton of fun in Modern Warfare, if you still have that game kicking around. Uh, I posted two zombies videos this week, back to back. The first one was the patch update that they did before the official Season 3 release, where they put some of the new zombies features in, but not like the new map and stuff like that. So... Uh, there's two videos for that. The first video is before season three launched, so here's a clip from that video. Uh, but one thing I did see uh, twice actually is this dropped a cryo freeze uh, upgrade for the ammo mods, um, and then later on you'll see I actually got uh, another drop for napalm blast. So this is just from level one to three in outbreak. So these are entirely new drops, and they appear to be at least decently common, so that's a nice little addition, save you some money. Um, one of the last things I'm going to show you here they added is the, the cargo truck, and one of the, the coolest thing I think about the cargo truck, in addition to the fact that it's, you know, just a bit beefier, you'll see when I spin around here, I think it'll plow through zombies a little bit better without taking as much damage. You see, I just slammed through a bunch of zombies, and the truck did not get immediately half destroyed. Uh, but the other thing is if you... Uh, on console, click the right stick or whatever the change seat button is. Uh, you can pop over into this mounted machine gun uh, and then hop back over into the driver's seat. So this makes this thing like a like a mobile tank, even when you're in solos. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff in that video, and the video I did the next day, which is kind of the after the official season three launch complements that video and adds some additional stuff that I didn't cover in the first video and the stuff that launched officially as part of season three as well as some of the new upgrades and stuff that are available so here's a clip from that complimentary video hi guys hmm I don't like dogs. I don't want to deal with the dogs. I'm just warming up. 
I mean, at higher levels, obviously, this won't be enough to kill them, but... AFK the holdout at this level. I beat it! What did you drop? An ether tool? I can keep this going. What did that do? It upgraded- Oh, that upgraded my weapon! Oh, I needed that for my- No, I needed that for my fucking grenade launcher! God damn it! <laughs> that would have upgraded my grenade launcher. Oh, that's what I needed. Uh... <laughs> Sheet speak. <laughs> So go check both of those out if you want to see and get an intro to all the new features that are available in Season 3 Zombies. And they honestly seem like there's going to be some they're really cool additions for Outbreak, especially the Toxic Growth uh, Field Upgrade. I am surprisingly enjoying. I don't go to super high levels and stuff, so I'm not sure how it's going to go when the zombies are super high health. But for the lower levels, it's like super nice, super easy mode. I'm wondering if they're going to tweak it at some point. So... Go get, go watch those videos. Go get the toxic growth field upgrade and start playing with it. It's great. I had I'm just a blast, just setting up defensible areas and watching zombies die try to get to me. Um, so yeah, that's went up on the channel. What went up on the channel this week? Um, there was also an announcement a couple of days ago, an official post to EA from Dice and whoever it was. I'm not sure exactly, um, but they're talking about upcoming Battlefield stuff. They're teasing the teaser trailer that's going to tease the full reveal trailer for about the new battlefield game this year um it keeps i keep referring to it as battlefield 6 it's being referred to as battlefield 6 i'm thinking that the rumors are true that it's probably just going to be called battlefield just to kind of help give it sort of a fresh start on the new generation after you know battlefield 1 and battlefield 5 kind of muddied the waters with some numberings but um yeah they're teasing that with what do they say? All out warfare. Um, what, they're doing daily play testing right now. I mean, they've put so much weight behind this game and they've got like four development studios, as they call it, their biggest team ever working on a Battlefield game. It looks like they're super serious. And the fact that we're in April and they're already basically in play test and balance mode indicates that the the core the gameplay the bugs and stuff like that have mostly been dealt with and now they're just literally doing final balance and polish and i know a lot of that sometimes will involve updating things in the map and updating the way the weapons work so it's a really good sign that they're aiming for a holiday 2021 release so they're going to release the game in probably about six or seven months and they're already essentially in play testing balancing mode while some of these other studios that have, they've pulled in to work on the game are working on seasonal content dlc stuff like that so it seems very promising like i'm i'm i cannot describe how excited i am for this new iteration of battlefield to come out this year to the point where i'm literally like almost panting like counting the days for not for even just news even just a, their their teaser trailer which most likely is gonna be coming out at the beginning of may uh, I've seen some hints at around May 2nd, maybe, or May 3rd. Um, so probably early May for the teaser, a short teaser. And then in June, when EA does one of their official events, you'll probably get the full reveal of the new Battlefield game. So over the next couple of months, it's going to be pretty exciting. And, uh, and yeah, they also in this release announced that they're going to make a Battlefield mobile game in 2022, which I got to be honest, it doesn't really interest me at all. I'm not a mobile gamer. Like, I've tr played around with some mobile games, but they just don't hold my interest. They, the ones that try to be more engaging and try to be more like, like the Call of Duty mobile I played a tiny bit just to see what it was about. It's like, it's like trying to make a game that you would enjoy playing on a console or a PC, but super dumbing it down and then still requiring you to put as much time as you would into like a console version, like, or paying for faster upgrades like that's the basis of mobile games is that they're all kind of free and then you just pay for gear or cosmetics or to rank up faster so 
for some of you who are excited about mobile and who love Battlefield in general, and I love Battlefield, okay, they announced a mobile game that's going to be standalone. It's not going to be like some port of the new Battlefield game, but a standalone, deliberately developed mobile Battlefield game 2022. Look forward it. Look forward to it or not, if you will. I'm really hoping for a kick-ass blasting battlefield game this year that is going to carry me through at least a full year if not two of just getting that good gameplay until hopefully maybe not to already write off call of duty 2021 before it's even announced but if it really is going to be a world war ii call of duty game i don't want to say i'm going to write it off out of the gate and it also will depend on how good battlefield is that said I may be riding, <laughs> riding it out until 2022 when hopefully a sequel to 2019's Modern Warfare from Infinity Ward will come out, in which case I will be very happy to go back to Call of Duty and, and enjoy hopefully what is a beautiful sequel and upgraded edition of Modern Warfare. And uh, yeah, so I'm excited about that. But until then, I'm really kind of putting a lot of my eggs in the Battlefield basket here. Um, there are some other games coming out that I'll be taking a look at just kind of as as they catch my interest but as a shooter fan i'm always looking for good shooters and it's looking like battlefield is going to be the shooter to have at the end of this year coming up next year we shall see what do you guys think what are you looking forward to is the battlefield announcement is it like are you guys as hyped for battlefield as i am are you looking forward to a world war ii call of duty game or just you still love in warzone tell me what you guys are feeling and thinking and what you love right now um yeah, go watch my videos, leave comments on those. I always want to get you guys engaged. I know as the channel continues to grow, I'll get more engagement. I believe in it. I believe in you guys. <laughs> I know you guys are hanging around, and I know there's not a whole lot of engagement right now, but there will be. I believe in all the minions, and I will talk to you guys soon. Take it easy.